Decred is a cryptocurrency designed to upgrade and evolve over time based on the direction of its coin holders. It features a self-funded treasury, proposal platform, stakeholder voting, and a flexible contractor model that when all combined make Decred a layer one decentralized autonomous organization. Every month Decred gets better and better and in this news update we'll go over all the developments. But before we dive into updates, you may have seen certain privacy coins are being targeted for delistings from centralized exchanges including Monero. While this isn't necessarily good news, it does mean decentralized exchanges will be more important than ever, and hopefully it paves a way for increased DEX use for layer 1 blockchains. More and more atomic swap based DEXs, which are open source and do not take custody of user funds, are coming online including basic swap DEX and Sarai. These exchanges claim to even support swaps between XMR and Bitcoin. These delistings will serve as an interesting experiment to see if blockchain projects can perform well without being on some of the biggest centralized exchanges, with price discovery moving to DEXs and other peer-to-peer -peer trading systems. Of course, the Decred DAO has continuously funded the development of its own DEX. In fact, the Decred developers wrote the original tools for atomic swaps, with the first atomic swap completed in 2017 between Decred and Litecoin. Now the DEX supports a number of coins, including Ethereum tokens and will soon support stable coins on Polygon. So let's take a look at developments to the Decred DEX. Market Maker and Arbitrage bots are coming and have had their UI updated. The Market Maker settings UI has a more responsive layout and explains the different bot strategies. There are currently five different strategies. There is even a strategy that combines the Market Maker bot and Arbitrage bot. The DEX bond and reputation data in the registration and settings now displays much more information for trading tiers. For the wallets, added basic support for funds mixing with Decred in the DEX wallet. Bitcoin transaction history is now stored for BTC SPV wallets, unlocking more accuracies such as differentiating regular send and swap transactions, extracted Zcash code into its own wallet implementation. The change allows Zcash wallets to be shielded by default. On Ethereum, show token contract address on the UI so the users can be sure which Ethereum or Polygon token they are using. There were some general client changes, including disabling the place order button on various conditions such as insufficient balance, tune colors and transparency, change the login flow to not force server registration after the local login, and fixed a prompt to create missing wallets on the market's view. In progress is a proof of concept mesh network implementation that has been submitted for discussion. This is worked towards the DCR DEX mesh proposal, which was approved back in June. An implementation of private atomic swaps with Schnorr signatures has been submitted for review to the atomic swap repository. Hopefully this tech can be implemented in the future for more private swaps. CryptoPower is a multi-coin wallet for Decred, Bitcoin, and Litecoin built in Go. Private testing of alpha mobile app builds has been set up in Google Play Store and the Apple Store. If you'd like to participate, please ask in the CryptoPower Matrix chat room. So far, the wallet looks very nice and is easy to use. Implemented a new transactions tab showing all transactions across all wallets with optional filters by wallet and by transaction type. When a proposal is clicked on the overview page, it jumps to the proposal details. Added new cards to the wallet info page to show mixer status, recent transactions, and recent staking activity. Implemented a new layout on the wallet settings page. Updated the layout of the wallet staking page sections, added low level support for the Trocador app in the Instant Swap library, and refractored internal components API to optimize memory use. For DCR data, Decred's blockchain explorer, work is being done to integrate a staking reward calculator. Bison Relay is a new communications platform powered by Decred's Lightning Network. Recent updates include filtering unwanted content when reading saved chat history. Replacing Bittrex with MEXC as a source of exchange rates. User-facing GUI app changes include allowing to select text and news feed and posts. Fixed newly created group chat not appearing in chat rooms. GUI app changes for mobile builds include various mobile fixes and user experience refinements. And increased spacing in chats based on user feedback. Developers are aware that some users are having channel issues with Opera, Bison Relay's tipping bot, and are working towards a fix. Cake Wallet integration is underway. Three developers configured build environments and got working builds of Cake Wallet showing dummy Decred views on iOS, Android, and macOS. And the initial Decred screens have been submitted to the integration branch. These include implementing basic functions for Decred wallets, including Create Wallet, Create Watch Only Wallet, Open Wallet, Syncing Wallets, and more. 
There is also storage implementation for saving wallet configurations and transaction data. DCRD is a full node implementation that powers Decred's peer-to-peer -peer network around the world. Developers fixed a bug where DCRD would hang if a peer disconnected after having sent multiple messages, among many more bug fixes and optimizations. For DCR Wallet, improvements were made to initial chain sync time and reducing memory use. There was also fixes including, if any blocks in the chain violate the consensus for proof of work or proof of stake difficulty, it now reports which block was invalid. If someone tries to spend a multi-signature transaction output with any invalid signatures, the transaction will indicate it's not ready to send. For Decrediton, Decred's GUI desktop wallet, a bug was fixed in the ticket purchases flow where the wallet would not report a wrong passphrase being entered. DCR Pool had a number of fixes and optimizations, including simplifying code for calculating rewards payments. Decred's Lightning Network had a number of bug fixes and improvements, including routing fixes and RPC shutdown error fixes. Let's look at proposals on Politea. The Video Content 2024 proposal passed with 84% voter approval and over 26,000 votes cast. This proposal requests $71,000 for 2024 to create and distribute Decred videos, including development updates, tutorials, animations for releases, Twitter spaces, and more. All videos will be directly uploaded to Twitter for increased viewership. There is also some funds set aside to do ads and to incentivize other influencers to engage in discussions on live streams. The Bug Bounty Program 2024 proposal also passed with 97% yes votes and over 30,000 votes cast. The Bug Bounty program helps keep the Decred codebase secure by rewarding developers that find bugs or security vulnerabilities. The more critical the bug, the larger the payout. Over 270 bugs have been fixed since 2019, 24 security vulnerabilities have been resolved, $10,500 paid to reporters, and rewards can be up to $30,000 all paid in Decred. A total budget of $105,000 has been allocated for this program to continue in 2024. And now let's check out network statistics. The Decred ticket price is remaining steady at 240 Decred per ticket. The vote reward is 7% per year. 62% of the circulating supply is staked. The Decred treasury is worth around 16 million US dollars. The coin supply is 15,752,165 Decred with 62% of the supply mixed. And now let's look at community updates. Phoenix Green created a video about Decred's non-custodial staking. If you're offering something valuable to a project, you should be incentivized. Holding and hoping a coin will go up in value shouldn't be your only incentive. I consider long-term holdings like a traditional savers account. If you're holding, you should be earning interest. When you stop and think about it, coin holders are the backbone of most crypto projects, sometimes referred to as hodlers. This is because they have long-term conviction. Incentivizing people for holding should be a core mechanism. Decred built its project around the belief that coin holders should have the final say on every decision made. These are the people that have the most to lose, so they should be the ones signing off on every advancement to the protocol, proposals, consensus changes, and spending. Proof of stake has been around a long time at this point. Decred designed its protocol to avoid the issues associated with pure proof of stake blockchains. Decred's hybrid mechanism mitigates against the majority of these issues and emphasizes the theory of skin in the game. Voting service providers are there specifically to keep your DCR ticket online. In the Decred protocol, coin holders get the final vote. He also made a video about Decred's decentralized workforce. One of the questions I'm constantly asking myself is, what's the point of working in crypto if you're not earning crypto? From my perspective, if a project is paying its contractors in fiat currencies, it shows low confidence in the project's native coin or token. If it works, you should want to be paid in it. Decred solved this problem from day one and only pays its contractors in DCR. This is made possible by the tools that it's built to facilitate it, including Politea, which is Decred's proposal system, Decred's contractor management system, CMS, and Decred's decentralized treasury. All of these elements are systemized to form a layer one decentralized autonomous organization or DAO. Contractors can work for a proposal, several proposals, or create their own proposal using the Politea platform. Contractors need to be added to CMS so they can produce monthly invoices. The T-Spend is a unique transaction that allows money to be spent from the Decred treasury. A mining channel created a video guide on how to mine Decred.
Thanks for watching this Decred News Update. Be sure to learn more at Decred.org.